Okay, everyone. So this is what we're ex expecting tomorrow. You can see the whole space behind me. Uh, I think it'll be around 800 people. I think it's more like 600 people that will be attending tomorrow. And like I said before, very nervous of having so many people watch a movie that I've made across all over uh, the Atlantic here in the US. What a privilege. Uh, so yeah, very excited, very nervous. But most of all, what an opportunity. Thank you, Autodesk. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. I should, however, give you a little bit of an update of what we've been up to during the past couple of days before this special and once in a lifetime moment. So let's quick jump back to the past. Hey, do then? summary a 12 hour flight from Copenhagen to San Francisco and then a two and a half hour flight to Las Vegas a swift uber to our hotel and finally being able to lay down straight on a bed we're super super tired we're jet lagged and confused with the Pacific time despite all this Lucas and I wondered now do we have this amazing opportunity to travel all the way to Las Vegas what should we do now a helicopter ride to Grand Canyon Also something worth mentioning is that you're allowed to actually bring a Ronin S and get stabilized shots. Big thumbs up on that since the helicopter ride is around 500 US dollars per head. Yeah, it is quite pricey, but with a stabilized full frame camera and an excellent lens, you get to capture and relive this experience over and over again. Example. The ride went really well. I almost suspect that the pilot intentionally placed both me and Lucas on the side of the helicopter so we wouldn't get too much glare or reflections and therefore end up with shots like this. Here it is ladies and gents, one of the seven wonders of the world the beautiful Grand Canyon. Wow, you won't get much of a better view than this. Absolutely overwhelming.
this point, we have descended and landed around 1,000 meters below the rim and the Wallape Indian Territory. This small area is privately owned by Maverick Helicopters and is where they served as some drinks and a light snack. The whole experience took about all in all 4 hours from when they pick you up from the hotel, going to Grand Canyon and then back again to the hotel. $500 well spent. This is one of the bucket list activities to do in Las Vegas. We liked it so much we eventually ended up Hey everyone, we're here at the Venetian in Las Vegas. The Venetian is a huge luxurious hotel. Located on the Las Vegas Strip, it takes its name after Italy's most romantic city, Venice. Getting to your room, you will pass this magnificent colonnade with marble floors and columns painted in gold. It is covered with hand-painted murals and frescoes all depicting the artwork of Venice. And of course, being in Las Vegas, following this path will end up on the casino floor. So get this, the Venetian is an all suite hotel and what is considered as standard is what you see in front of you. I assume this part of the suite symbolizes the bedchamber area and is separated by an iron railing. Whereas you then have the sunk in living room with two armchairs and sofas, a desk, and I have to admit, it feels quite exquisite. The suite comes with a spacious bathroom connected with a marble foyer, and of course, it is all seen to be accented in gold. The Venetian's most well-known icon, the gondola, a recreation of the Grand Canal in Venice. Complemented by shops, boutiques, and an indoor sky. Disclaimer, it's fake. The made famous landmarks such as St. Mark's Square, teeming with boisterous activity, there are musicians, performers, and live statues. And people just enjoying the atmosphere. The automated refreshment center will be electronically charged, any item removed, 
to your account. Yikes. So a word of advice is that try not to touch it and maybe save some money. Autodesk University will be starting in a couple of hours. So we're now just trying to get our stuff ready and start experiencing Autodesk University for the very first time. And one of the cool things that we get to receive when we started to register was this awesome water bottle, Autodesk University. Chapstick, since the weather here can get really dry, so you need to apply the chapstick just to prevent them from not drying out. Backpack, good to have. Going from one class to another, a lot of room and space. a little bit early but it turns out that everybody has having the same mindset. Lucas give us your thought. Super excited. This is really cool. A lot of people and uh, we're excited for the coming days. Yeah man. Tune back soon. Autodesk University here at Las Vegas is the flagship event which takes place every year. So mainly, Autodesk University offers a year-round learning and networking experience. In other words, you should definitely attend the conference if you want to develop professionally and advance further in your career. Lucas, update please! Uh, hello, we've just eaten lunch, it was great. Anyways, finally some good food in Vegas, healthy food, some regular coffee. Perfect. This is what I've been missing for like three, four days now, so it's great. Hello, Sweden. <laughs> Our colleagues, they don't hear me. Hello, Sweden. Autodesk University is a learning community that connects many of today's design and engineering experts from industries across architecture and construction, manufacturing, media, and entertainment, and so much more. Here you can attend classes, keynotes, check out the awesome product demonstrations, exhibits, and networking events. You can share ideas with other attendees, do problem solving together with others, and form professional relationships. So, hopefully it has given you somewhat of an insight of what the whole event is about. And now here we are rehearsing for the great event. I think around eight o'clock in the morning, We'll be standing here where Lucas is standing right now, accepting the award for large building design. Winning project is the ESS, European Spoliation Source. Uh, uh, all right, and the rest of the team is here. Autodesk University with one word. Wow, incredible experience. It's been wow, what a, what a ride.
I don't think I've ever experienced something close to it. But once in a lifetime experience for us, we have all the special talents and good people, you know, concentrated in one place. I mean, it's it's amazing of all the competence and knowledge that is out there and how people innovate. You get inspired, you, but also you get drained at the same time. You you just want to take everything in. You can't really describe it. I mean, the only way for you to understand it is by being here yourself. It's such an overwhelming experience. that's it for us uh thank you for watching this episode hope you've enjoyed it just as much as i have this has truly been a once in a lifetime experience i've enjoyed it i hope you have too please stay tuned for more episodes coming in the future i'll try to update as much as possible and i'll see you guys soon thank you for watching <laughs>